there everybody welcome to another hot humid day that it's supposed to been raining only 70 degrees and it is not either it's 80 and humid yeah and I ended last night by taking a nasty fall in front of the shop I don't know what happened but uh, I went down hard all on my right knee and I managed to put a blood blister right in there so it hurts to bend the little finger today and it is a hot one since it hasn't rained yet I want to see about sticking this fuel pump in the dually because it will not go um, double check the ground because it's been sitting a while and yep, it it pumped up the other day, and that was the end of it. So I'm gonna get under there, undo the fuel lines, the wires, and uh, see if we can get that thing out. I got it cleaned off around the uh, filler neck, and I think the last time I fixed this, I actually reused the original sending unit, and. Uh, so this time I got a whole brand new setup. So anyway, I'll get under there. And this is not a how-to. I ain't doing how-tos right now. Uh, this is just somebody that's bored trying to get stuff done. So, all right. You guys listen, tell me if the fuel pump works. Sweet, sweet sound. Let's see. Yep, they're dry. <laughs> it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. I should unplug that first. Don't unplug your appliances like that or anything. I should check the radiator. Now well, I'll go get some antifreeze. Here, ticking. Sounds like I gotta maybe. Looks like. Yep, that's what I thought. Plug wire off. All right. Boy, I miss driving this truck. I'm glad I kept this thing. I've almost sold it, but I'm glad I kept it. I got a headlight to fix, and it needs a good bath. But now I can hop in this thing again, start it up, and move it when I need to. Finally. Oh, yeah, let's see. I don't even remember where we're at the last. Uh, let's see, where do I want to park it? Well, I'll just park it right up here. So I moved the gray one. I hope the gas cage is working. But I know it's a little that low on gas, so at least it ain't doing like the old gauge jumping. So it should work. I'll get this all closed up here. Yeah, she pops right off now and sounds good. Oh, and I got uh, a couple of tires in the back seat for this thing. So, anyway, ah. oh, gas gauge does move. I shut the key off, it went up. 
see you once. Yep. Okay. Hey, with a parking uphill like that, that was a mistake. As I can tell you right now, I'm going to have to. So, I might have to get a few gallons of gas. Get in there. A lot of trash blew off. Good. Oh, well. All right, just a second. I honestly don't remember where we were. Uh, had a guy come and talk to me about something, and it's looking pretty good. Uh, the dually, like you see, is running now. Definitely need to get some gas in it. Alright. Okay. Boy, I really don't know where I was with videotaping and that, so sorry if I repeat myself here for a little bit, but uh, uh, know, about the same time yesterday as I took my fall, I just got really, really tired. Today I experimented. I brought a candy bar with me just to make sure my numbers weren't dropping, but uh, it still didn't help today. Uh, so, yep, the fuel pump's in the dually. I gotta get more gas in it so I don't damage the new fuel pump. Uh, a little disappointed. Somebody else must have been in that tank before because I'm thinking that's where the wax that was on it. Somebody waxed it after they put it in. So, I don't know. Um, I know I changed the motor. I guess I didn't change the whole sending unit. I changed the, as the pump and motor, fuel pump itself last time. Anyway, it's fixed now. That's what it counts. Uh, I met with a person today. Find out tomorrow. So stay tuned. Then I got a text message from a guy that was kind of uh, freaking out. He's built, building a couple motors for his boat. boat and uh, just when you think you've seen everything that could happen, I want to see if I can blow it up without getting any of his uh, info. You guys see a problem there? That's what he had. He went to prime the oil pump, and this is what it used to look like. He wondered about changing main caps. I said, no, you can't do that. Um, it pulled the first couple of threads right out of the main cap. So, what I was talking, and you see right here, see how it's kind of tight, it's a small hole anyway. I usually go in there with a die grinder and open that up and radius it and smooth it. And I thought, I, I guess it's in that motor. Well, you got, I'm trying to show you guys through the phone, and it's not the phone we're using. Uh, I told him to go in and die grind that all out, and then I gave him this part number to change it over to a stud it is not a complete through hole so you don't have to worry about that so you can finger tight this in like you do in the instructions and then torque it down I said you just need to go in with a carbide cutter or something that needs to be all smoothed and relieved and cleaned up this is because you can't change the main cast without line boring it he's like okay so yeah, that that was the help distress. And uh, see like this one here, you can see all the way through it. See, right there. So this one here, if that, well, and look at how this one's even cast. It's, what he broke off is basically what this one is now. You see how they've got that to where I go on with a die grinder and I, Cut that all back and smooth that out, then smooth everything out in there. 
So, so if this would have been his cap where you could see through, I told him to put it, what, if that was the case, I would have screwed it all the way in because you can't torque that in there because if you get put in too long a bolt, you're pushing on your bearing and then you're going to have bigger issues yet. So, yeah, we got, so, there you go, bud. I told him I was going to put that in the video and I explained, so, yeah, so that was, a uh, like, oh, crap. And then while I was thinking about it, he's like, well, the oil pump will turn one way, but it won't turn the other. I got thinking the motor was upright, so if that broke off in pieces, there is now pieces in the oil pump. So I told him he better take his oil pump apart and inspect it to make sure he hasn't wedged a piece of that cast iron into the pump vein. So he might need a new oil pump in the end, too. So, yeah. So we dealt with that. And then I just got real weak. Just my body kept saying, fall down, fall down. I'm like, I don't want to fall down. I don't know what's... And it was about the same time last night I took the fall, so... I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's see. Other than that, I'm moving, doing. I had a box of eight in Ford parts, uh, cap, rotor, sparkled wires, basically a tune-up kit with a new battery holder. The guy stopped here and he said, yeah, he's got an eight in. Guess what? He took the box of parts with him. <laughs> got those on because I'm like, people I knew that had the little Ford in tractor, eight model tractors, they're not around anymore. They're gone. The tractors in the people. So. Yeah, otherwise, oh yeah, I gotta grab my welding gloves because the kids have got another live back in the house. Not that I really wanted to use my welding gloves, but I guess. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. So I'm. At least now the dually's cleaned off and they'll be ready to go again. And oh yeah, that's what I'm going to take. I'm going to go and uh, go spray that all. Since I cleaned that wax off and got all the dirt and everything off, I'm going to spray the top of that fuel tank and everything because it's nice, fresh, and clean metal under there with some fluid film. So and spray down the fuel lines and all that to try and keep them from going bad. So. Then I stopped and tried starting the Tahoe today. Yep, that's busted to the point where now we're going to have to pull it. So, yes, we'll figure it out. But anyway, I got to get it on the white truck. And the uh, 454 owner, he's going to get a hold of me in the morning. We might actually see if we can bring that thing to life tomorrow. So. Anyway, guys, gals, I think I'm going to go home and eat and uh, see what goes on. So, got a few, few things in the works, so might be rebuilding the 383 Mopar. We'll know more tomorrow. So. All right, everybody, at least it ain't a Ford. <laughs> See you guys later. Have a good one.